hello everyone this is another video from the easy electric series and today we want to learn how we could make the maze uh, a robot that able to solve the maze so we actually want to make the robot with three ultrasonic sensor with two dc motor and the one h bridge and also one arduino that able to actually solve these uh, maze that you see here so our plan is we start from the beginning point and the robot without heating any wall solve the maze and back to this point that you see so let's do take a look to to the robot so we are going to start from the first point so before we start i'm going to reset the robot so and see how it's able to do that okay so the robot has three sensors so as you could see three ultrasonic sensor one somehow see the distance from the left wall right wall and the other somehow measure the distance from a front wall so it should be based off these three data that you screen so the maze robot should be able to solve the maze and somehow it should find its way without hitting any walls so as you could see it's able to turn from there so now if i give you a bigger picture you see it should be fine its way so and finally should be able to back to his start point that we we had here let to see how we could make it let to take a closer look to the robot and see how we could make it so let to first start with the component so as you could see in the front of the robot i actually put three ultrasonic sensors so one somehow see the uh, uh, front wall the distance from the front wall so we have one on the left and one in the right so this one measure the distance from the left wall and the other one measure the distance from the uh, right wall so take a look to here we have actually the uh, l290n it is a motor driver and h bridge so what exactly it's doing it's able to actually control the speed of the dc motors that you have so which you have here two DC motors, one here on the left and other one is the right. So let I actually show here. So see on the side, this is a side view. We have one DC motor here and another DC motor is on the right side. So these uh, motor drivers somehow able to uh, control the speed and also could turn the DC motor clockwise and counterclockwise. So here we are not using uh, this uh, features of this uh, module because you just we move forward so for our case we are not actually go backward so I have the module the same module here just give you an idea about how the modules uh, work so this is the same module 298 motor drive so as you could see you have actually two output this is output one this is output two so one connected to the one dc motor on the left another one connect to the other dc motor that you have on the right side so here you have the, the middle one is a ground so here it should be connected to 12 volt we have a battery here around 11 11 or 12 volts so if i take back here you see this is our re rechargeable battery it is around 11 volt so we use actually like buck boost converter which you see here this is actually the buck boost we actually this small small module which we call that buck boost converter i could show you the the circuit the small chip buck boost converter here we give the uh, 11 to 12 volt we are able to get here around the 6 volt so there is actually the uh, the variable uh, resistor with adjusting that you are able to convert this input 
to the any output that you have so here we give actually 12 volt from here around 12 volt and we get the 6 volt to input of these uh, motor drive so that means here ground here we comes from the output of our uh, buck boost converter we give 6 so here is another uh, output that you have which give you 5 volt we connect this 5 volt to 5 volt of our Arduino somehow we power up the Arduino with this output 5 volt that you see here so here you have actually the six pins so if you read that labels so you have enable a IN1 IN2 so the enable a is related to this DC motor that you have here in the output one so you could send pulse switch modulation to this uh, input so that means it's able to get pulse switch modulation technically you use the pulse with modulation you are able to adjust the speed of the DC motor so IN1 and 2 if you give 1 and 0 so it's called the forward if you switch 1 and 0 between these two inputs so it's actually somehow go backward so here we are not going to change the value of the ND1 and 2 because we just want to move forward we just give 1 0 which keep the DC motor actually moving forward same for the other three you have enable B which is the uh, which is is related to the second DC motor that you have I N uh, 3 and 4 so that means these three uh, inputs that you see I N 3 and 4 same story with giving 0 1 to this you could move the DC motor uh, forward and backward here we just give 1 and 0 which keep the DC motor moving the forward we don't use that for moving backward and the enable B again we send the pulse switch modulation signal from the Arduino to the second motor that you have so I will show you the exact wiring circuit for the robot for now let to just focus and introduce the module that we use here so also as you can see here this is the Arduino macro so it's actually we use these as our macro controller and somehow this is a control everything it's read the data from these three sensors that you have here so these three sensors that you see the distance from the left wall right wall and the forward so and also the algorithm you send on this so if you take a look to them here as I mentioned we have two DC motor we have here the battery pack the chargeable battery which is give the 12 volt here I have the small modules as I mentioned before it is buck boost converter somehow convert these uh, 11 12 volt to the 6 volt so that means the input for these uh, uh, motor driver for my case is almost around 6 volt so definitely you could get any voltage but based off the DC motor that I have so 6 volt should be enough for this case and it is easy to control these um, DC motors that we have so this is actually the body of the robot so you could use any uh, structure for this there is a lot of if you check the online you could find the different chassis for the robot car so some of them they just have these DC motors so that means you purchase us this DC motor and this chassis that you see nothing else so you could get this then actually implement or add the other component um, yourself which is somehow you make everything from scratch so here you see there is a switch for turn the uh, turn the, the robot on and off so somehow this disconnect the power that comes here to input of your motor driver so you able to turn that off you should have that switch because sometimes whenever you don't want to or your robot don't work don't move so definitely it is a good idea to turn that off otherwise it's, it's just move around every uh, time so this is almost everything that we have for putting the uh, sensors definitely you could do the lot of things so we use here the breadboard so on the market there is a small breadboard that you could purchase let to see what is the best angle you could see maybe this one is the best angle yeah so see this is the breadboard so you could actually 
put the breadboard there here we use the other breadboard to put our um, microcontroller so one important thing about the sensor just make sure put them somewhere that they are fixed they are not loose and also make sure you put on the on the car and whenever the car actually turn to the right so the left sensor data to be increased so whenever you move that a little to the left these data should be the stand should be increased so sometimes whenever you put these two sensor in the back especially in the back so you have a case that you for example if you put that somewhere here so whenever i actually turn that uh, to the right so it's actually increased the data but sometimes it's actually not the case whenever you put the uh, sensors in the bad uh, position or bad location in your uh, robot just make sure put them in the right um, spot and make sure in any cases if the robot move left these data should be increased and whenever it's put it whenever it's it's actually turn right so the right sensors data should be increased so just make sure they are actually fixed in their location and also they are in the right place so this is about the uh, hardware so let's to take a look to the wiring so let i somehow turn off my uh, camera here that you able to see the wiring so as i mentioned before you could see the whole component that i explained before so these are your three sensor this is adreno macro so this is your motor driver with the all input outputs that i mentioned this is the buck boost converter and this is your rechargeable battery so let to start with the sensor so as you could see the sensors all five volt and ground of the sensor connected to each other and they connected to the Arduino five volt uh, pin and the ground to connect to the ground of the Arduino so then each sensor has the trigger echo pins so as you could see each of them has these are the uh, pins that I use definitely you could use on any pins that you want but this is what I use so I put the first sensors on a trigger on 7, echo on 6, trigger on 8 for sensor 2, echo on 9 for sensor 3, trigger on 12, and echo on 11. So back here into the motor driver. So as I mentioned before, so you see that there is a two output. So the label is output 2 and 3 on the module. So the first output connected to the right DC motor, the uh, second one connected to the output tree which is the left motor that you have so here you see the pins so as i mentioned enable a for a left motor in3 and 4 for the left enable a in1 and 2 for the uh, right dc motor as i mentioned enable a give you a pulse with modulation i connect to the arduino pin 3 im1 i connect to the uh, pin uh, zero so i n two i connect to the one and i n three i connect to the two and i n four connected to the four so let i check this and make sure the zero is the right one so let to see so we we put the enable a and b and three yes it is actually i pin zero that's right for i n one so just make sure you connect that to the pin zero in your uh, microcontroller check the pin out uh, of your uh, uh, arduino macro definitely you should find that zero pin number zero over there so that's about uh, all uh, uh, pins that we have enable goes to the 10 and enable a go to the 3 in 1 and 201 and in 3 and 4 4 2 and 4 so these two output connected to the dc motors that you have so these three uh, to ground connected to the ground of the buck boost converter the 12 volts connected to the output of the buck boost so this is what happened i have rechargeable 12 volt i put the switch here for on and off so it comes to the input of my 
buck boost converter these uh, buck converter technically we use that in a buck mode these buck convert from 12 to 6 and I give these uh, to the input of this motor drive that we have so the, the other 5 volt that you see it should be the output I somehow feed the Arduino macro and power with this 5 volt output that I have here so again ground will be connected to the uh, ground so that's actually is uh, all the uh, wiring that we have so in uh, for uh, for seeing the detail of these l298 motor drive so i explained the basic of that if you want to know more about this please uh, click on the link that we have in top of these uh, screen which is the uh, another lab experiment that we did to learn about the whole detail of these uh, module you see the link in the top of the screen so this is everything that we have so let you uh, take a look to the algorithm and codes and see how you could write the uh, program or the algorithm that able to uh, solve the maze that we have in the next video i'm going to talk about the algorithm and the codes that you need to load to your um, uh, robot that able to solve these maze that we have here so thank you for watching this video and see you all in next video